Hi everyone, Jean Lurson here. One of my students in my online class asked how to cre create deliberate blooms in your watercolors. She was complaining that she gets blooms sometimes that she doesn't want, but when she wants to create one, she doesn't know how to do it. So I thought I would spend this week doing a demonstration on how to create a bloom. This was a, a watercolor painting I did where the bloom was actually not deliberate, it was an accident, but I left it because I liked the effect and um, someone who bought it f felt the same way. They, they liked the painting and it sold pretty quickly after I did it. So I'm going to show you how to create a deliberate bloom. So I'm just going to do a very quick sky and add in a few colors from my palette. Put in some. And the thing that you need to know about blooms and how they work, basically once the sheen starts to go off the paper, if you go in again and start painting over that, you're going to create blooms. Um, unnecessary blooms that you don't want. But if you want to create a deliberate bloom, the thing to do is once the pe once the sheen has started leaving the paper, you go in with your brush and water. Um, yeah, you can see the sheen here. Um, I just have to wait a few minutes. And then I'm going to create a deliberate bloom to show you just uh, how, to, how to control the bloom so that if you do want one, you know how to create it. And if you don't want one, you know how to avoid it. Now you don't want it dripping wet where the water goes all over the things. You just want a little bit of water. In fact, I want to use a thinner brush. You want to use just a little bit of water on your brush and go in there you can see the um, bloom starting there and in fact you can do it with a, a s you don't have to do dot 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 either you can just go in and do a sweeping movement you see I love the way that that blooms maybe you make it larger here it just needs a little bit more you, you can put in too much water and, and get a not very pleasant effect. But basically that is how to create a bloom, a deliberate bloom. So you see even here my paint had started, to, I'd put in a fairly dry layer and then I went in with a slightly wetter layer and it's created blooms in the sea area here. So the thing to remember is once the paper has started to dry and you go in with water, you're going to create blooms. And that's how to create them deliberately if you want to and how to avoid them if you don't. So I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.